Change the way we look at horror movies. It involves suspense, mystery, and murder. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be doing that voice throughout the whole video, but I am going to talk about one of the most famous films from the master of suspense himself, Alfred Hitchcock. This is Psycho. Psycho was released on June 16, 1960, and was the last film Hitchcock made that was shot in black and white. The plot centers around Norman Bates, played by Anthony Perkins. He's the owner of the Bates Motel, and lives in a house on top of a hill that looks over the motel with his mother. Throughout the film, Norman is revealed to have sort of a sick obsession with his mother, as he talks about how he takes care of her and how he never wants to leave her. One day, a young woman checks into the motel and is murdered by what looks like a woman in a robe, making the audience believe that Norman's mother is the killer, because Norman had feelings for the woman, and the mother killed her in a jealous rage. But near the end... Spoiler alert! We discover that Norman and his mother are the same person. It turns out that Norman murdered his mother years ago due to him being jealous over her new boyfriend. But Norman felt so guilty for what he did that he developed a split personality. His mother. Whenever Norman fell in love with another woman, his mother's side would take over and become jealous of the woman, causing Norman to dress up like his mother and kill the woman. And if that wasn't creepy enough, Norman actually kept the corpse of his mother inside the house and acted like she was still alive. Yeah, that's not disturbing at all. Psycho is based on the book of the same name by Robert Bloch, which was loosely based upon real-life serial killer Ed Gein. To keep the ending of his movie a secret, Alfred Hitchcock had every copy of the book removed from bookstores and libraries. Pretty clever there, Hitch. To make sure everyone watched the entire film, Hitchcock had all theaters lock their doors as soon as the movie started so no one could leave. Paramount Pictures, the studio that produced the film, was not really fond of Psycho when Hitchcock handed them the script due to the shower scene showing a naked woman and there being blood shown. So to make sure he was allowed to make this movie, Hitchcock had to fulfill some of the studio's requests. For example, in the famous shower scene, the camera was aimed at the woman's face and shoulders so her breasts couldn't be seen. Also, when the woman was being stabbed, they could only film the blood going into the tub and going down the drain instead of gushing out of the woman's body. Oh, and here's a fun fact for you. The blood they used in the shower scene was actually chocolate sauce, but since the movie was in black and white, no one could tell. This film had many firsts. For one thing, it was the first film to show a toilet flushing. It was also the first movie to show a woman in a bra. So, what did I think of the film? Well, I thought it was amazing. This film had me completely off guard. It started off as a film about a woman on the run from the law and wound it up as a murder mystery. It also had great suspense and an excellent twist at the end. The one thing I loved about this movie was Anthony Perkins' portrayal as Norman Bates. I kind of felt sorry for him since it looked like his other personality was torturing him. Also, he looks and acts so innocent so you can't really tell that he is a killer. Well, until we get into this scene... Ugh, that scene still gives me shivers. Well, that's it for tonight. Farewell. I mean, quarter evening.